Hey, it's Grant from Grant Bakes, and today I'm talking about bench scrapers and dough scrapers. These things are different, even though the differences are pretty small, but I'm gonna explain why I think that if you're a bread baker, you should have one of each kind of these scrapers. So what are dough scrapers? Dough scrapers are usually made of plastic, and they have two characteristics. They're really firm, but they're also flexible. They're bendable. This one's pretty firm, but it can bend pretty well. And this one is really firm, but the edge just kind of bends a little bit. And that's important because these are also known as bowl scrapers. And one of their main functions is cleaning out bowls. When you have a batter or some kind of dough in a bowl, you're able to clean out the bowl almost completely with one of these tools. A couple things that dough scrapers are really good at are mixing your dough. If you wanna mix your dough right in the bowl, you can use one of these. Uh, this is my favorite bowl scraper or dough scraper for mixing. You can also mix with a flat one like this, although not as well. But where they really shine is at cleaning your bowl. The flexibility of these dough scrapers really allows you to get inside a bowl and clean up everything, try to get every last scrap of dough out of the bowl. You can't do that with a bench scraper. So as you can see here, you can almost perfectly clean out the sides of a bowl using one of these dough scrapers. Here I've got some no need bread dough, just almost perfectly comes out. And then once you transfer your dough out of the bowl, you can clean up those little scraps of dough that are left behind. Dough scrapers are also pretty good at dividing dough. Say you've got a whole batch of dough and you wanna cut it up into 12 dinner rolls or something that you're cutting up into individual pieces. You could divide the dough with this against the table, especially the one with a flat edge. A plastic dough scraper will do really well at dividing, but the ones that are rounded like this one aren't as good at dividing. So I actually like this dough scraper for cleaning bowls. I find that the round edge really helps fit in the bowl perfectly. It's the one I prefer. And this one is better at dividing, but I don't like it as much for cleaning bowls. So with dough scrapers, there is kind of a trade-off. Some are really good at cleaning bowls, but they don't divide as well, and some are better at dividing, but they don't clean as well. And dough scrapers can also be used sometimes to clean your table or clean your bench. If they have a flat edge like this one, you can scrape it against the table just like a bench scraper and clean, uh, but it's a little harder to do than with a metal bench scraper. And round ones like this, you really can't clean your table at all with these. They just don't serve that purpose. Now, bench scrapers, on the other hand, are usually made of metal, and sometimes have a metal handle, and sometimes they have a wooden handle. Those are usually the most common types of bench scrapers that you will see. And bench scrapers are different than dough scrapers in that they are absolutely sturdy, they don't bend at all, so there's no kind of bowl cleaning that you're able to do with these. One thing bench scrapers are really good at is dividing your dough. So after bulk fermentation, if you need to divide your dough into two different loaves or into dinner rolls, the solid metal of a bench scraper cuts through the dough really well. And bench scrapers are also really good for shaping. I like to use a bench scraper to just help me shape my dough. You can just use your hands, but I find that with, especially with super wet doughs, I love having a bench scraper to help me with the shaping process. Another thing bench scrapers are great at that kind of sets them apart from some dough scrapers is that they really help you clean off the table or the bench, especially after you've been kneading or shaping dough on the counter. Because they don't bend at all, they're not made of plastic, bench scrapers are not good for cleaning bowls. You're just not able to get in on the sides of a round bowl and clean them. So these aren't gonna serve that purpose at all, but these are the best for dividing your dough and for cleaning your counter. That is why I say to have both a bench scraper and a dough scraper. I really like to have both of these so that I can clean a bowl out with one of them and divide and clean my table with the other one. I really like having both. And to be honest, if you bake a lot of bread, I think you should have both too. But if you're going to only have one, either a bench scraper or a dough scraper, I think it should be a plastic dough scraper that has a flat edge, just like this one. And this one was super cheap. It was actually sent to me with a Banneton basket for free. So they almost cost nothing. You can get these really affordably. Start with this one. If you're not sure you're gonna be baking a lot of bread, but you wanna have some kind of scraper around the house, just get a plastic dough scraper like this. My two favorite scrapers are this kind of teardrop shape one. This is my bowl scraper that I love to use. I'll put a link in the description on where you can get one of these really cheaply from Amazon. And my favorite bench scraper is the Campbell's Dough Knife. 
I really like how wide this one is. You can get under a lot more dough than you can with the other bench scraper that I had. I bought this from Amazon right when I started baking bread. And when I switched to this one, I never went back to this old one. So I just suggest getting a really wide bench scraper as your first one. And if you're interested, I'll link to the Campbell's dough knife in the description. I don't get any money from them whatsoever. It's just my favorite bench scraper. So at the end of the day, you don't need a bench scraper or a dough scraper to bake bread at home. You can just use your hands and other common tools you have around the house. But if you're serious about baking bread, these definitely make your life a lot easier. If you're ever curious what tools I use for baking bread, sourdough, and pizza at home, you can go to grantbakes.com tools and you'll find everything that I use. There will also be a link in the description of this video. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.